Greetings and salutations, Charlton66 here again to talk comic books and um, since uh, I did my Gene Autry video I was going through westerns and trying to organize some stuff and have a little stack I'm going to go through with you guys um, and speaking of the Gene Autry video um, I appreciate the feedback and, and the enthusiasm that was there with that particular topic of Gene Autry, um, I didn't think it was going to go over as well as it did, only because it's, he's not in, in, you know, in the public's eye, so to speak, um, or not a lot of people know of him, but either people, going, going by the comments, other people either knew of him or they researched who he was, which is what this is all about, right? Learning new things and and going outside of, of our comfort zone or going outside what our, our regular wheelhouse would, would be, so to speak, and finding out new things. And I do appreciate everyone's feedback and 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 the appreciation of Gene Autry and, of course, the topic that at hand of talking about his stuff. And um, I had a bunch, I have a bunch of stuff Gene Autry related, but... I just kept it down to a few items that I think that people would find more interesting than some of the other um, ephemera stuff that I have or autograph pictures and that kind of thing, uh, movie posters and whatnot. But uh, maybe at one other date, I will do a much longer video on Gene Autry and some other Western um, hero memorabilia that I do have. But on to the topic at hand, like I said, I, I was going through some of my Westerns and uh, and narrowing down, you know, my want list and things that I need for my for my collection, and so I decided to, you know, have a little chunk of uh, some good old westerns here we can go through real quick. Um, first of all, I'm gonna start out with this beautiful, um, a Dr. Bachilla would call a blazer of a, of a comic book. This Red Rider, um, it's number 120. It's just a gorgeous copy, um, and I think. I've never seen a file copy with a stamp on the outside before, but it says Copyright Act of 1931, June 17th, 1953, deposit number 11059, which that's handwritten. So I can assume it's a file copy. And looking at the condition that it's in, I would have to agree. I think it's a Canadian edition because it's blank on the inside and it has Library of Parliament. So either it went to the, their... their their rendition or their their library of congress or what have you but or it's a file copy going to the government i don't i have not seen it stamped on the outside before i have i bought these from a dealer and i have three or four gene autries with the same thing on the on the on the cover and they're beautiful copies as well um the date stamp or the 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 file stamp i'm calling it now without, without knowing for sure what it is Maybe someone out there will clarify it for me. Again, I've never seen file stamps on the outside before. So, But the Gene Autry's that I have are, are just, just as beautiful. Again, this is Red Rider number 20, and it's just a phenomenal copy from 1953, I do believe. Beautiful um, Red Rider copy. And um, on to uh, some more Dells. Um, this is Dell 4 Color 860. With a nice Hugh O'Brien White Earp comic there. I think it's a pretty nice, pretty nice cover. Again, this is Dell Four Color 860. Tales of Wells Fargo. This is Dell Four Color 1215. With the Dale Robertson cover. This is Buffalo Bill Jr. Four color number 798. I don't know if I've shown this before or not, but this is signed to me when I met Dick Jones. Um, one heck of a nice guy, great stunt man, and um, he signed this for me. Dick Jones, Buffalo Bill Jr. Again, this was this was a Gene Autry produced uh, TV western from Flying A Productions. Obviously, the flying A, A stands for Autry, so 
Again, it's another Buffalo Bill Jr. number seven. Nice photo cover. Cheyenne. Cheyenne number six. Nice photo covers here. Cheyenne number 13. Cheyenne number 15. Clint Walker. Play Cheyenne. Cheyenne Bodie, I believe his last name was. It's a beautiful copy here of Buck Jones. Um, uh, I don't know what number this is. Sorry, folks. Well, I got to know. Number eight from 1952. Again, one of the favorite Western hero, Buck Jones. And this was a TV show called The Range Rider. Produced by uh, Flying 8 Productions. Again, that Gene Autry's um, TV production. I think it lasted three seasons, three or four seasons. But Jock Mahoney played the Range Rider. This is number 10. The Flying A's Range Rider. It's another beautiful, beautiful copy. It wasn't one of those file copies, but I got them from the same dealer, though. And he had a lot of nice, nice high-grade Westerns. Range Rider number 8 from 1955. Jock Mahoney, that's who played the Range Rider. Here he is in action. This is number 14. Jock Mahoney in stealth mode here from Flying Age Range Rider number 22. The Lost Tribe. Flying A Range Rider number 24 from 59. This is close to the end. There's a couple Marvel Atlas Westerns thrown in here. Wild Western number 20. Kid Colt. Wild Western number 56. I had got these not too long ago. Well, it's been a while since I had these, I think. They were just put in with this pop for some reason. I'm trying to organize some of these Westerns. The rain, the numbers that when Dell did them were, were not on the cover, so it takes a while. If they're already back and boarded to find out what numbers they were. If they're not already on the outside of the cover, which, which was rare. Western Outlaws number 18. And one of the uh, one of my favorite uh, old time radio shows, Tales of the Texas Rangers, which is a phenomenal radio show, and it was a good television series as well. Um, comic book is good too. It's just typical Dell. Um, you know, the, the Del Fair of, of the writing and artwork, but the photo covers are really good. And like I said, the radio show, if you're into old time radio or want to dabble in old time radio, I highly recommend Tales of the Texas Rangers. Um, Joel McCray, Jace Pearson, Tales of the Texas Rangers. This is Del Color 
396 was also considered the first issue, which I think is a really cool photo cover the Texas flag and both of his guns are drawn. Nice cover there. Here's another pretty nice copy I got from that one dealer um, that I got those other westerns from, that, those fog copies. This is um, Dell Full Color 468, um, excuse me, 648. Jace Pearson tells of the Texas Rangers. Nice, nice cover. Jace Pearson tells of the Texas Rangers. This is number 13 from 1956. Yeah, I highly recommend the radio show. It's so good if you're into radio shows. And this is a phenomenal cover. Well, for, as far as photo covers go, but um, the the pose and, and the smile on his face is just just a really good, really good, nice copy and a nice, nice issue. Really good, uh, really good cover there. Jace Pearson tells the Texas Rangers number 15 from 57. Nice, another nice copy. Again, I can't recommend the radio show enough and the comic book series. It's, a, it's nice, you know, two punch. It's nice to have the comic book series and listen to the radio shows at the same time. There's just something about it. And on to the Western Roundups. Um, these The covers of these are mostly pretty unremarkable only because it's really headshots of, of the Western stars of the time from, from TV and, and movies. Um, but again, it's still neat. Dell Giants. Um, they're Dell Giants. They're still neat to have in your collection um, only because, you know, it's... They're hard, to, they're hard to come by in pretty decent shape because of the cardboard covers. They want to separate at the spine, and they really they fold up when they crease. The crease is there to stay. There, there's no way of getting them out because of the heavy cardboard covers. But, again, there's pinups in there, and there's puzzles and that kind of thing. So, you know, they're hard to find of them not being, you know, not being cut out or or being written in or what have you. But um, here's Western Roundup number one. This is one of the better covers. Uh, the nice illustration of the bunking Bronco up here with Gene, Roy, Wild Bill Elliott, Johnny McBrown, and uh, Rex Allen. This is Western Roundup 1. Again, here's a crease going right down there. It's just they're hard, hard to get out. There's one right right here. Again, they're, they're there to stay. But again, it's the first issue. Western Roundup number three. I don't know where my second issue is at. I know I've completed the run I do believe of all my Western Roundups. I might I might be missing maybe the last one or two. But I know I have the majority of, of the run not completed if, with the exception of the last couple issues. Again, the floating heads. I like this cover. I like the blue on this cover. This is number four, 1953. Again, Dell Giants, you're getting a lot of comic books. You're getting almost 100 pages. I think this like 96 pages, if I'm not mistaken, up to 100, 110. That's kind of, the, it's kind of the covers, though, as well. They could have done a little bit better on this cover, but it's not one of my favorites, particularly of Gene. Didn't really look like them, but this is number six from 1954. I mean, it's a nice black cover. It's pretty decent shape to have an all black cover, but I think they could have done better with the graphics on here. Western Roundup number number eight. Again, the floating heads. And for a quarter, you got a lot going on here. Now, this is a pretty decent cover. The graphics are real nice on, on this. But it's not one of my best condition Western Roundups. And this is number nine. The 
going to the train station and they're on the side of the building. It's kind of a nice graphics on, on there. This is a pretty good, uh, pretty good cover. Though it's it's shown somewhere number ten. Again, here are the creases. There's, this, they're this is they're, they're tough. They're tough to find in decent shape. All white cover here with the wagon wheel. Number eleven. Number 15. I'm missing a gap. I don't. Hmm. I know I have more issues than, than I'm showing here. I'll find them. This is number 15, 1956. This is one of my favorite covers here on for the Western Roundup. Number 16. Nice graphics there of the the cowboy lasso a calf and and our western heroes there on the side again back to the floating heads and some of these would have for the back a pin up let's just pick one at random here oh yeah we get um we get dale evans on the back of this one and pages are nice and white it's supple pages It's nice. This is just a nice all-around comic book with text. About things about the Indian nations and and whatnot, and all the main features, the Rex Allen features right here. But again, like I said, you get pinups and and text stories and everything else. You know, the typical Dell. Um, comic books at that time period. Well, Dell period always would have their tech stories and and other things going on in the in the in the comic. It's hard to find a Walt Disney one without the puzzles being done in it. This has seen better days, but this is um, Western Roundup number seventeen. Yeah, seventeen. Same with this one. This has seen better days until I find a better copy. As they say, bad grade is better than no grade, right? Number 19 from 1957. Again, this is big, big and heavy and indented right here. So, again, we got our um, we got our names of the heroes down here. We don't have this the floating heads. Why they stopped doing that, I don't know. Number 21 from 1958. Western Roundup, Dale Giant. So that's it for right now, guys. Um, for the Westerns, I'll have more um, coming here when I finish uh, my assortment of, of Western and, and, and reorganizing them. Um, the next one. Might be the Gene Autry's that I have, or uh, or just something else. Take a break from Westerns, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. But um, again, and thanks for everybody for their comments and their viewing and subscribing. Uh, I do appreciate it. Um, and again, I want to reiterate, again, thanks for the support I have from the, the, the Gene Autry video, because it was a lot more than what I expected, only because of the topic, like I said, but... Anyway, thanks everyone. Um, hope you have a great week, rest of your week, and um, see you guys back again. You guys take care.